In this video, we'll look at spot fire lists. Lists represent knowledge that's captured from one or even many data sources. For example, you can capture a list of performers in your sales data tables who have done exceedingly well, or even those who haven't, and anything in between. This list, or these lists, can then be used for further analysis. Lists are persistent from session to session and are automatically saved when you modify them, unlike tags, which are only valid for the current analysis. Combining the functionality from lists and tags is something that you can do, for example, by creating a tag collection from lists or by creating lists from tag collections. This allows you in a way to transfer knowledge from one analysis to another by way of lists, while you can use tags within a particular analysis. Okay, so let's look at creating some lists. You can create lists in two ways. The first way is to mark items in a visualization and then save those to a list. So first what we'll do is we'll open up the lists panel by clicking the lists icon on the toolbar. The other thing you'll see here is that we could go to view and open it here as well. Now, in the lists panel, you'll notice that there's a toolbar with some icons on it. We'll go over those too as we use them. But here we've got a selection indicator and this selection indicator is employee ID. And that's what's going to show up as our selected items. And we'll see that down here. So let's go and do some marking. So here are our poor performers. Their salaries are quite high. Their sales records are not all that great. So then we right click the visualization, point to marked rows. Then we can select new list from marked. And we'll call this list needs help. We'll click OK. And there's needs help. If we click on this, you'll see that needs help has two employee IDs under it. Cool. OK, so we'll go back here and select lists again. Now we'll go back in our visualization. Let's mark our excellent performers. We'll right click the visualization, marked rows, new list from marked, and this one will be called excellent. This is our list of excellent performers. And we'll see that there's three employee IDs there. Cool. Now, one other thing we can do by selecting the new list from list logic icon here, we can combine lists to create a new list. So let's go ahead and we'll click on this. And in the new list from list logic dialog, we'll give it a name. We'll say union and we'll select both lists and we'll click the radio button that says in any list. So this is or. So it's records that are in this list or this list. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll click on OK. And we'll see here, as expected, it has five employee IDs in it, because that's the union of all of them. Very good. Now we can also create tags from here. And we can do that by clicking the Create Tag Collection icon here. So what we'll do first, we'll open up the Tags panel. And we'll go down here, let's select Excellent. And then we'll click the Create Tag Collection icon. Okay, and you can see that the tag collection was created. It's called lists tag collection. And under that we have an excellent tag collection. Okay, so if we add a table visualization to our analysis, we'll see here, since I double clicked on the excellent tag collection there, that they're all selected. We can see that they're selected here as well. Although that's very hard to see. We can go in this visualization and we can increase the size those markers. Okay, so we can see that these ones are selected. Okay, and now if we scroll over, we'll see a new column here, lists tag collection, because a tag collection represents a column in the table, and so values can be filtered just like any other column. In fact, if we go down to our data panel here and we scroll down, and we'll see the list tag collection here. If we click on the filter icon, 
we'll see that we've got excellent and untagged here as well. So we can select either one of those, just like any other column. Very good. So just recall that tags are not persistent from session to session. So here we are in this analysis. Let's save our analysis here. We'll close it. And now we'll go and add some data tables. We'll click on File. We'll select the same data tables that we had. We'll import those in. Now, if we go up here and look at tags and lists, we'll see no tags. But look at that. There's the lists that we created in the previous analysis, and we can see that they've persisted here. So again, we could go here the same way we did before. We could create a tag collection from here and use those tags as we want. So this demonstrates how tags are not persistent, yet lists are persistent. Okay, so in this video, we looked at spot fire lists.